Hi, this is Bentley from h, &H Color Lab with another quick video today tip. Today's quick video tip involves using creating a clipping mask option in Photoshop CS4. This option is also available in CS3 to CS7 way back forever. And the shortcut keys do change based on version numbers. Uh, they have changed a couple times. The current shortcut key is Control alt g or Command-Option-G, depending on whether you're a Mac or a PC. So let's see how this works. First off, I have this canvas-square uh, PSD file, and when we look at the layers palette over here on the right side, we see that there's a square layer floating above the background layer. When I go and select this image of Annie, hold down the Shift key and just drag that over with my Move tool, I can see I have a new layer floating above the square layer. And that's going to always float above the layer that was active. Now if I use my shortcut key, Command Option G, or just go Layer, Create Clipping Mask, I see that that has been clipped into the square layer underneath. And in looking at the layers palette, I see the little uh, down, or to the left and down icon that shows me that's being clipped by the square underneath. Once that image is in that square, I could press Command or Control T, transform that image, position it around, make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit smaller. Whatever I want to do on that, press Enter or Return to accept that. Now, let me show you a couple other ways that this can be used. Uh, I'm going to undo or throw away that layer 2, and I'm going to throw away that square layer so we have our blank canvas. And I'm going to bring in some other shapes real quick. I have a file called circle. I'm just going to shift drag that in again to get it in the center. So now that's my layer 2. When I shift drag in Annie and then do my command option G, we can see now she's been clipped or constrained to that circle. So there's another way we can use this. Let me throw those two layers away. And I'm going to bring in another shape, and this one is called Sloppy Border. Bring that in one more time. Command Option G. And we can see no matter what the shape is, we can clip to it. So we can use this for sloppy border shapes. We can use this for letters of the alphabet if we want to. Uh, we can also use this same concept by coming into uh, one of our 4x5 card designs. And this is one of the Christmas cards that we have up on the website. And you can see there are several layers called Paste Image here. And they are all use, uh, clipped by the image box underneath. So we can see this top layer is clipping to this layer underneath. So we can see when we have these layers, when I, in this case, select the image of Annie, just Control-A, Control-C, or Command-A, Command-C, select our Paste Image here layer and then command V paste that in and then it is constrained by that box underneath so when I hide that box Annie disappears one last tip notice that my layer effects are turned on that stroke is applied by the image box not by the image I pasted into well there's another quick video tip from everyone here at H&H &H. hope that helps out your workflow and have a great day